In this problem, we're asked to use order of operations with a problem that has multiple fractions, parentheses, subtraction, and addition involved. So PEMDAS tells us to work inside parentheses first. I'm going to do that for each set of parentheses separately before I worry about this minus sign here. So if I want to take 3 minus 1 fourth, remember that 3 is really 3 over 1 minus 1 over 4. And I'm going to put that back in parentheses. Minus, then if I start to deal with the second set of parentheses, between 3 and 15, 15 is the common denominator. So I can write 3 times 5 to give me 15, 1 times 5 in the numerator to create my equivalent fraction. I'm going to keep going to the right here. My first parentheses between 1 and 4, the common denominator is 4. So I'm going to build up the first fraction by multiplying the top and the bottom by 4. Leave the 1 fourth here. Then in the second set of parentheses, I have 5 over 15 plus 1 over 15. Working my way down, I'm going to start back over here on the left. In the first set of parentheses, I have 12 over 4 minus 1 over 4. And in the second set of parentheses, I have minus, and then I have 5 15 plus 1 15 is 6 15. I can combine those and essentially remove the parentheses. The first set of parentheses, I have 12 fourths minus 1 fourth. That's going to be 11 fourths and then I have minus 6 over 15. Now I have a fraction subtraction where I need to find a common denominator between 4 and 15. That denominator is going to be 60. So to build my first fraction to 60 in the denominator, I need to multiply top and bottom by 15. In the second fraction, I need to multiply top and bottom by 4. So if I carry out those multiplications, in the first fraction I obtain 165 over 60 minus second fraction I obtain 24 over 60. Now I have a common denominator. I can subtract 165 minus 24 gives me 141 over 60. Now that's an improper fraction. It's not completely reduced actually because there's a common factor of at least 3. I can see 3 divides 60 and 3 divides 141. But let's go ahead and focus on writing this final result as a mixed number. 60 will go into 141 two times. 2 times 60 is 120. If I subtract 141 minus 120, I get 21 over 60. And if I want to reduce 21 over 60, well, 21 is 3 times 7. There's that factor of 3. 60 is 3 times 20. There's my common factor of 3. So my final result as a mixed number is 2 and 7 over 20.